Hello! Twice here, Tales of Berseria. Uh, in the last part, we were kind of in a hurry at the end. I wanted to look at titles. Um, so, kind of a recurring feature in the series is that there are titles that you can equip to your characters with varying effects. Um, quite often, those effects have been stat growth. That's not the case here, unless you have a specific shop bonus. Um, also, normally they don't outright tell you the requirements for all the titles right from from the start of the game. Um, how do I... Oh, you click the left stick to advance the text in the description. Anyway, um... So yeah, we can see title skills. So there's a series of them that are unlocked via character levels or improved via character levels. So we already have this title, but it'll get better at level 40. Probably learned that 1.1x attack increase. Um, then a series for using martial arts, hidden arts, playing as the character at all in battle, I believe is what times controlled means. Enemies defeated with the character, stuns inflicted, other status ailments inflicted, attacks evaded. That must only include just evade. Not, like, mischance. Actually, is there mischance in this game? There might not be. Souls taken... I think that's for picking up the square things that increase your soul gauge. Or, er, cube, not square. Item drops, play time, battle time, menu time, total encounters. So we could totally just leave the game sitting for the menu time. Well, let's uh, not. And yeah, that's it. Um, so, uh... I mean, for now, it's obvious what our choice is, because we only have one, but I'll periodically be checking in on what we've gained. Um, anyway, let's go. Uh, wait, which way did I come from? I think I came from that way. What does the square icon mean over here? What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after-effect of the Advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Moloch family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> so, uh, it's a cat's spirit. We use them to open chests. I guess I'm assuming this is the right way because the cutscene was this way and the stairs up are this way. Um, yeah, I guess one thing to think, keep in mind from the titles list though is I will really want to work God, on learning those just evades. Plus the souls bonus is nice anyway. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks? Under the watchtower. Can't believe Velvet's ignoring the obvious missing, safety implications. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, yes sir. sir. I'm very serious. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. Do you plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. And it should be convenient if we found a prisoner that could use that big sword we saw earlier. Anyway, following the objective star seems like the thing to do. Who in the blazes are you? Battle tutorial. Red bumper lets you see information. 
You can switch targets by tilting the left stick and such. Oh. Uh, uh. I did it. I switched targets. You can hold down right bumper to pause the battle and see information on the current target. And you can you can just tap it to target the closest enemy. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see, considering you're not beasts, you're person type. I'm just gonna hit X. This doesn't seem like that serious a battle. Maybe I should have taken it as an opportunity to practice my evades more. Oh. If you press B, you can bring up enemy book information. Check item drops and things. I didn't literally read the whole text box. I got the gist. at the next door. Listen up! I'm opening every door to every cell! We're getting off this island! What the hell? You serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates! Break through the gates and you'll have a ship! But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rattle. Let's do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. Rogues like us are always I'm up for sick a of the swap they feed us. Serious. Ah. <laughs> it's like, how are you gonna get those doors open? Let's go. We'll burn those exorcists. Open all the doors. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. Alright, there's a conversation over here, though. I think the ones marked with an exclamation mark are different somehow. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet All I right. know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die. As long as I take Artorius with me. Alright. Oh. I guess I should be looking into the cells. But like, those things are everywhere and they respawn, so I'm not concerned about finding Dear everyone. Me, not a word of apology? Hmm? Oh. <gasps> what is wrong with you people? There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly... From paradise down to hell! No worse, a grimy prison cell! <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And you are? Hooray! You asked! I'm thrilled!
thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! Yep, hey Magilla. Oh, Maggie Lou. I pronounced the G wrong. Maggie Lou, yes. <laughs> I suppose you'll never understand. People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. Goodbye. believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. Will you? Alright, I guess this way? Why not? It's at least somewhere we haven't been yet. <laughs> Void ring. Reduces damage from non-elemental attacks. I'll swap it in once we've mastered the skill on our current ring. So it has progress on that? 14 out of 20. So soon. Yep. Another cutscene. <laughs> hey there, guy. More? This one. He's a demon! Yep. Get ready. Red eyed swordsman. So that's what you're going with. You're not you. You need an True enough. Hmm. Oh, the red line must be the edge of the battle arena. For a second I was wondering if it was an attack I had to escape. Oh, and we don't actually have to deplete his hit points, I see. He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Hmm. Riddle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? <laughs> if you have it, please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. <laughs> if things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry! I don't know. I think we should bring him with us. He seems like a main character. Sharpshooter's Ventite. Enables snipe charge in battle after gar guarding for a set amount of time. Obtaining certain items grants charge abilities to the guard command. With Sharpshooter's Ventite, snipe charge, maintain a guard for one second to double the chance of inflicting stun and other status ailments with an immediately following attack. But stun isn't chance based. Could that I guess you get double stun what points added to the enemy? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Oh, except for you. Uh, what? Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. <laughs> Is Velvet not unusual? Let's see, wait. I guess... Which way are we going? Oh, also... 
Let's see. Last time we got a Ventite that I didn't properly examine. Okay, yeah, they're diamonds. Prodigy's Glycite provides the ability for equipment to trigger a random skill that improves the six basic statistics. Okay. So we can randomly find equipment with bonuses on it. Got it. Oh, an actual random encounter. Kinda not into that until I've collected a full party. Should be just ahead. Because I don't know if people gain EXP before they're real party members, and I'd rather not waste my time leveling as a single person. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. Oh wait, I don't even lead with the stun move, do I? Oh, I'm out of souls. Ah. <laughs> What's the target button? Right bumper? Yeah. Oh, I'm with the healer, of course. Number of attacks and quips, quick steps that can be chained into a combo is equal to the number of souls possessed. Attacks performed in a combo chain leave character, characters less open to attacks. Ah. In addition to arts, receive a bonus based on the number of times a different art type has been performed in the same combo. For example, a hidden art performed after two martial arts will cost 20% less soul gauge. This can be a, an effective way to mitigate the high soul gauge costs of hidden arts. Um... Let's see, and leading with hidden arts into martial arts raises probability-based effects. And I don't remember what the other two arts do to the other arts. It was a whole chart in a mechanics walkthrough, or guide, not a walkthrough, because it doesn't list any story stuff at all. Um, Alright. We're on top of the watchtower now. <laughs> You're just gonna jump? The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait. You're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. <gasps> All right then. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Yep. You better be ready. Didn't think he'd approach me that close to the checkpoint. Or not checkpoint, save point. Gotta remember that it's only an official combo as long as it got white glow on my diamonds. We're finished here. Let's hurry on. Getting out of here comes first. Alright. I, I was checking my uh resistance ring. I got 16 out of 20. 
grab these herbs. Yeah, herbs can increase very, you know, character parameters. They grow back in time after you collect them, so use them freely on your favorite characters. That's not actually technically true. It has nothing to do with time. Um, so I believe there are... 104 herbs? Are yeah, let's sure? start. Ah. This way leads She's to talking. the main entrance. Huh? If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. Okay. Um so yeah, something like 104, maybe 106 herbs at the start of the game. Whenever there are fewer than 50, one of them will We're respawn. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist Praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. Well, yeah. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. <laughs> Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? Oh. I'll take that over there. <laughs> Oh, did she take care of the other one at some point? Oh, he's guarding. Yeah, oh, I guess we're done. <laughs> so many battles just ending weirdly. I will have to expend a mullet or two for this. What are you doing? More of your vaunted reason. is bound by an oath whose price is my life the time has come to pay feeding on my form will grant you strength the strength to press forward i ask only that you devour me why a flame burns in my heart too a flame i cannot quench no matter how hard i try just like you will stay hydrated <gasps> this was lafay's 
That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world, this frozen people, I'm just that stubborn of a woman. Hurry, before my life fades. Do it now. No. <laughs> I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. <laughs> when you and I <laughs> and Arthur were <laughs> together. Battle tutorial. The sorcerer's ring obtained from devouring Ceres enables you to now use break souls. Press right trigger to perform a break soul. Oh. Once they've been unlocked for a character, these powerful arts can be unleashed by holding right trigger while controlling three or more souls. Such power comes with a cost. The character loses one soul and their target gains one soul. These attacks ignore combo limits and can be used to open combos, allowing for chains that exceed the number of souls currently held. Here I come. Absorb that Molok's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon. What does restrain mean? Okay, I have another soul again. <laughs> Fighting at two souls didn't seem astoundingly effective. Uh, I should probably properly check w that's not the right pause button. Check whether I have anything that like makes sense against dragons or Okay, nothing that is specialized against dragons. Stun 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 paralysis. I don't know if I really want to try going for another stun here. Guess I don't have any alternatives besides, well, fire is probably resisted. Alright, I'll just use the X button combo, I guess. Oh, I think the souls have to actually be lit up to perform Break Soul. 
That's why I guess it says to start with it in the tutorial. He was almost dead, so I was just using it, whatever. Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour Demon, Moloch, and Exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! Oh, he's on fire. And they're gone. Less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Rokuro Rangetsu, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. <laughs> Alright, level up, 10 grade, that'll definitely finish off the ring. Learned an art. Oh, it just tells you when you finish mastering stuff. That's convenient. And a new glacite. Provides the ability for equipment to trigger random skills which restore HP. If your soul gauge is already full and you're about to defeat an enemy, you can finish off your foe with the break soul essentially for free, as you will regain the soul that you spend. You will then be able to go on fighting at the same level. Additionally, performing a break soul comes with significant HP restoration and can heal you even when inflicted with a status ailment. Be sure not to waste this opportunity because it could mean the difference between continuing the fight or getting KO'd. Oh, break soul, consuming claw. Hold right trigger while standing by or during a combo to pay one soul and activate. Hitting with this attack will cause Velvet to become Therianized, which drains HP but grants additional abilities based on the enemy type. Reaching 1 HP or performing an art when the maximum combo chain has been reached will unleash a break art and end Therianization. The lower Velvet's HP, the more powerful the attack becomes. Oh, master skills, because I mastered some stuff. Yeah, you permanently get the skill. Oh, if a character wears a piece of equipment containing an already mastered skill, the skill's effects will be doubled. Interesting. So that's almost just like the equipment exists separately from your actually mastered skills. <sighs> Guess the weather's feeling as crummy as I am! Careful. The sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy. Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! Well... I'm coming for you, Mertorius. See you later, nerds. Jim unlocked. The beast uncaged.
Looks like the landing went well. Oh! The Friends Network is unreachable! This failure may indicate that your local network is offline or that Steam Friends servers are currently offline. It popped up in front of the game. <laughs> Luffy said... One more luck. Oh! He's made off with our compass. Stay back. Or something. All right, got him. <laughs> My word, a demon muncher. You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. Uh... You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry. Long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering! We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. Oh. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? How can you tell? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <gasps> Wait, what? Yeah! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. More equipment mastery. Can earn EXP and gold through victory. Characters level up. Leveling up unlocks arts. The character who finishes off the last enemy in each battle will earn bonus experience based on the longest combo during the fight. I think I mentioned that before. Oh. You can open up the world map by pressing Y while the area map is open. Oh, right stick to scroll the text this time. <laughs> okay, make sure to check the world map. I checked it. Okay, you got Lafsett's comb and a sorcerer ring. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? <laughs> well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Ah, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. <laughs> I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Is it funny behave. if he doesn't agree? Anyway. I believe I either neglected to or wasn't able to switch out my ring. 4% damage reduction. <laughs> See, I don't think we have any alternatives for any other equipment slot. Well, that's the title. <laughs> Picked up any yet? It would probably tell me, sort of like it tells me the equipment mastery. A box. Oh. Mogilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster <laughs> is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds! Alright <laughs> <laughs> then. Alright. 
I did observe the save point. I'm looking to end things off, but I'm also looking for stuff, because that's what you do. Alright, so that's it for this part. In the next part, maybe actually getting our allies to be useful? I don't know. Uh, the mouse is stuck to the window. <laughs> See ya!